Hi, welcome back. In this session, let's try to understand how the PO information sent from one system to another system. As I told that is system A, I'm sending purchase order information to the system B. Okay, your system A can be system A and B both can be SAP systems. System A non SAP system, system B can be SAP system, or else the system A is non SAP system and the system B SAP system. Vice versa, both are SAP systems, or one SAP system and another non SAP system, another non SAP system, and SAP system like that, or both can be. Uh, you know, non SAP system, then there is no point to discuss about IDOC technology. Okay. So when it comes to here, for my convenience, I have configured these IDOCs within the same system to generate IDOC. There is no difference when it comes to um, your other settings, like, you know, uh, basis settings and ABAP settings, all one and the same. That I have already explained in my course detail what all the settings need to pick actually each and everything. So if you go to other courses, you will not get this much detailed explanation. I'm telling you, if you see my course, if you're not able to configure on your own, you can comment. And at the same time, if you are facing issues, if you are facing issues, then no worries. So you try to go through all the concepts in real time to face the interview. And once you get into the real time, you learn each and everything. Certain times in real time consultant also, if they have having a four years or five years experience, they don't see IDOX itself. Suppose if they are using completely PA or other concepts also. Don't worry about this. Knowing this one is important. It will take you to another level uh, in your interview. Okay. So if you really wanted to learn this, uh, like uh, what I wanted to say is, Okay, so probably okay. I'm in a sub screen. This is the courseware. Okay, don't spend uh, thousands of rupees uh, for real time consultant. Not required. I'm also in real time. So if we better learn with the ABAP. This is good if you really wanted to configure everything on your own. But I have very good knowledge on IDOX. That's why I have configured. If you want to learn, you subscribe this course. Okay. So 389, it's a, so just, I'm just providing these links below of this video. Okay. Now it is an offer. Sometimes it is 400 and 450, hundred rupees. What it differs. You don't get our biryani also. Okay. You can able to see if you wanted to learn now, all these are the different 19 courses available. If you really go through all these courses, if you really get it, this is my 10 years experience I'm adding here. Okay, if you wanted to learn, you can learn. Getting master to write functional specification, I'm recommending this course and IDOX course and SAP business partners. If some questions they will ask or else you wanted to be comfortable in S4 HANA basics, better go through this course. And at the same time, I'm recommend uh, STOs also. And if you would like to become expert in pricing, you better do this one. Okay, so this is all about uh, my courses. And so now let's get back to the topic. Today we see, I already made the setup. In this video, I'm just showing you how the IDOC will be generated for purchase order. Okay, system A to system B through outbound, how it will be. Okay, now let's get into the system. Let, let me try to create one. The transaction code is ME21N. All settings already there. Okay, so, so in, uh, in my previous, uh, I mean, in my course, everything is available. Let's try to, let's try to take this vendor, external vendor I have created. And this is a purchase organization. Actually, it is ordering. This information I wanted to send from A system to B system. That is the target. How beautifully the purchase order IDOC will be generated. I'm just taking. Okay. So for learning, detail level for configuration and setup, you can uh, uh, subscribe my full-fledged course. Let me save this. Okay. So what is the, this is the PO it is created. 45002201. Okay, 501 ends with 501. Probably I can open this. Okay, let me show you this one also. Okay, now you can see this is the P1 number. How, where we can able to see? As I explained in my previous session, W02 is the transaction code. Let me try to open here. Okay, so to, with the today's date. Okay, so... Let me try to give the port. Okay, not required. Anyhow, let me directly give with the date only. Now go to the orders. You can see two IDOCs got generated. Okay, this is also generated to me. 
by me today morning let's see this okay now you can able to see the information so clearly okay so here what is this all these are segment data and if you look at this control data how i made a setup this is for vendor directly sometimes you can able to do this for logical system or else vendor also okay if you would like to see the technical information you can able to see this okay and let me go back and let me check this this is the po number this is what we created okay so that you know you can able to find the linking your uh, purchase organization and other purchase document type and you can able to see your vendor details your vendor name uh, this is the ship to where it is supposed to receive the you know uh, like a po you can if you look at here this is the uh, what i would say date and this is a place where your in quote terms and this is item level your pricing you can able to find here okay so now look at the status idoc sent sap so now if you look at here this is sent to vendor vendor is your b system let's assume this is the partner number and orders and orders 05 okay so so if you want to learn you can try this okay this is how po idoc will be generated okay from system a to system b in next session probably we can able to see transaction level this is only transaction level actually background so many settings will be there that if you want to learn you can try my full fledged course okay so let's come back to the the courses this is the place where i'm just giving uh, below description uh, all links if you want you can subscribe you can learn it is very very important i am telling you my friends in my career also i have faced some issues after getting job also so for learning this after once i learned i became confident my mind became cool okay so before getting into the real time nowadays you know trend is changed last 10 year to now everything is asking okay someone is trying on experience it is very difficult for them without knowing all these things better learn this even if you if you are not able to configure also this is a totally 6 hours course okay you just go through it you can learn this and uh, this is stos in s4 ana i have few demanded courses i'm just doing here it's a uh, it's a cheaper rates so some lakhs worth it should be there who will give you real time outside and this course also better do this getting master to write functional specification and transportation basics if you want it also you i have one course and everything which is required for interview all courses i have and uh, to make yourself comfortable in work also you try all these courses currently i'm holding 3886 it's near to 4000 of course i have a free course also if you wanted to listen you can listen that one then only you can decide to get into this one or not okay let's catch up next session probably we'll try to see so you have sent only information when you receive the information here sales are to be created that we'll try in next session at transaction level thank you so much